Hey guys, so I am not doing an in-store video as you guys could tell since this is the intro to the video um, because as I was in CVS um, today and I was doing my second transaction because I had to do two different transactions, one yesterday and one today because of a coupon that I was using, um, I had a experience with a customer being disrespectful to the manager there's a really nice manager that i like um that works at the cvs that i normally go to she is such a sweetheart she goes over and beyond for me she tries to get my coupons to work when they're giving issues she will avoid a transaction 50 million times for me until we get it right especially if the total doesn't seem right um but there was someone in there just being super nasty and super disrespectful so i was just getting so frustrated with her because she was flipping out on the manager she was cursing at the manager she was calling the manager out of her name and it really did upset me and i didn't even bother going back in the store to finish filming the rest of my in-store video so i just decided not even to do an in-store video because of that and i wanted to just open up this video as just like a psa that we need to be nice to the cashiers and the managers even if something is not going the way that we want it to we need to still be respectful you know they are human beings just like we are if you get up to the register and there's something going on with the price of something it's not ringing them correctly there's no reason to be nasty there's no reason to flip out on them there's no reason to get an attitude you just either politely ask to avoid the transaction or you just pay for the item anyway and if you're going up there with coupons then be respectful and don't go up there with 50 million coupons coupons um i will do big transactions if i have coupons that are high in value so i have less physical coupons when i'm doing bigger transactions if i know i'm going to have a lot of coupons then i try to do separate transactions or I wait until later on the day where there's nobody really there or I go early in the morning so that way I'm not holding up a line it's just it really frustrated me so I really want us to understand that we are a family and if you are a person that goes couponing you guys need to respect each other other couponers and the people who are ringing you guys out you guys need to be respectful and this channel is all about love and you know being kind to each other and also saving money at the same time so and a different note these are not all of the deals that I wanted to do but like I said I was doing separate transactions and today when I went in there I was just not feeling it after you know dealing with that and then the manager was getting very flustered with the lady who was flipping out on her and I just wanted to go ahead and finish what I was doing and then leave so that way you know she didn't have to deal with coupons and you know stress her out more because I felt I genuinely felt so bad for her so I'll just go over my receipts for the transactions that I did do so the Scott paper towel um, it is part of the spend 40 get 10 I didn't do it part of that deal I did a survey online for CVS and they sent me a five dollar extra buck so I just went ahead and use that five dollar extra buck it was a free five dollar extra buck so I use it on that it's priced at five dollars and 49 cents it's the six pack so I just paid 49 cents for that pack of paper towels and we needed more paper towels the just the basic water was on sale for two dollars and 79 cents each I picked up four of them my store does not have a limit anymore it used to have a limit of two but the limit is gone so I was able to pick up four and I asked the manager as I was checking out if there was a limit because if there was then I wasn't gonna pick up this many but she said it was fine for me to pick up four so I use a two off of eight cooler multi-pack CRT I used a 2 off of 2 24 pack of water CRT. Then we got an 80 cent instant coupon today at the coupon center. So even if you don't have any other CRTs, you can go to the coupon center, print out that 80 cent coupon, and then you can just pick up a pack of water for $2.79 and use that 80 cent off coupon. And then I went ahead and used my $6 beauty bucks that I got. So I just paid 36 cents out of pocket. The rock 
the little daily cleansing pads those were 30 percent off so they rang up as eight dollars and 95 cents i used the ten dollar ROC CRT that I had and it just adjusted itself down to $8.95 so it took off the full price and my subtotal was zero so I just paid tax out of pocket. So yesterday I did a transaction with the Maybelline and the uh, the facial wipes and the facial cleanser so I picked up two of the Maybelline Great Lash mascaras buy one get one 50% off at $7.99 then I picked up the cleanser for $9.79 and then I picked up the wipes for $7.59 originally but those ended up being 40% off because the skincare is buy one get one 40% off so I used a $2 printable coupon that was available on coupons.com for the skin active facial care it's no longer available and it was a limit of one it also expired on on the 30th or the 31st so if you previously printed it and your store accepts the expired coupon then you can use a $2 um, printable coupon. I also use a $2 for the Maybelline. I use it's a $2 printable so when you sign up on their website and sign up for emails um, they just reset it so when I went to like my dashboard it said that I had coupons waiting so it's a $2 off any Maybelline product and then a $2 off an eye product. So I was able to use both of those. And then I used the $3 off Maybelline Instant Coupon, the CRT that we got from last week. And then I used a $2 off CRT for Meister Water that attached to both products. It doesn't matter because they both are Meister Water products. And then I used a $10 extra buck to lower my out of pocket. So my subtotal was five dollars and 32 cents and that was for both of the mascaras the wipes and then the facial cleanser and then i did get back that ten dollar gift card it's in my wallet which is in the car but i did get back that ten dollar gift card and between this transaction and the one with the daily cleanser their roc i was i reached beauty so this transaction actually ended up being two dollars and 32 cents because in 40 hours i'm going to get a three dollar beauty buck for this transaction the transaction that i did today was on my mom's account so i picked up both of the crests for 6.99 i picked up the venus razor for 9.99 i picked up the l'oreal mascara for fourteen dollars and 49 cents the two maybelline 7.99 buy one get one 50 the skin Timate razors for buy one get one 50 at 9.99 and i had also picked up some tea in this transaction so i used the $3 off Maybelline Instant Coupon. I used a 4 off of 14 Crest CRT, a 5 off of 20 Shave CRT. I also used the free L'Oreal Mascara Coupon that I got from purchasing all the mascara last week. So it took off the, four, the full $14.49. And I also used the two $3 Digitals for the Crest. And I had a insert coupon for the skin Timit for the chic razors that glitched with the seven dollar digital so even though i only bought two all of the coupons are coming off the seven off of two digital and the three off of one insert coupon so after all of my coupons i ended up using 23 dollars in extra bucks so i paid three dollars and 42 cents subtotal because i also picked up um, three boxes of some peppermint tea for my mom so that way I can roll a certain amount of extra bucks and I did get back the $5 extra buck for the Schick, the $10 gift card, the $3 for the Gillette, and then the $4 for the oral care. So my phone died while I was doing the rest of this video, but I'm going to do a voiceover now that my phone has charged, but I brought everything inside already, so this is a voiceover for this part of the video. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up, and you guys, we just hit 100 subscribers. 
I believe it was earlier this morning we hit 100 subscribers and I am so excited and I am genuinely so thankful for everyone that has liked the videos, has viewed the videos and subscribed to my channel. I am very new at doing YouTube videos and sharing my couponing deals that I do and I am absolutely no expert nor do I claim to be an expert. So I am so grateful for you guys and I am so excited to continue to grow this channel and like our promise we will be doing a giveaway i'm going to do the giveaway in the next video i will post the details what you need to do to enter that giveaway so that's going to be in tomorrow's video which is probably going to be a public video because my new sale week starts tomorrow so i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye guys Oh, and since I didn't do an insert video, I'm going to put a Google Doc down below of what I was going to pick up.